Now let us see how to find out the monthly installment on recurring deposit problems. So to find out the monthly installment, generally they will give in the question a number of months. So n value they will give and total money received. So when n value and rate of interest and total value is maturity value, total amount received. So when you are, when you are given these three values, how to find out. So let us see one question here, you get idea about the problems how to find out the monthly installment. So here the question is uh, Rajan deposits a certain sum of money each month in a recurring deposit account of a bank. If the rate of interest is 8%, okay, rate of interest is given 8% per annum and Rajan gets rupees 8088 from the bank after 3 years. So here 3 is the number of uh, months you can take. So 3 years. So 12 into 3. So 36 is the number of months. And total amount received is 8088. Find the value of his monthly installment. So let monthly installment be P and we take the problem and solve. So let monthly installment be rupees uh, P. Okay. Then total money deposited because the year n value is mentioned and n is equal to 36 months so every month is depositing rupees p like that 36 months then total money deposited so based on this both statements then total money so deposited that is equals to 36 into p if it is p is 100 rupees means 36 into 100 36 hundred. So we need to take 36 into P. So rupees 36 into P is the total money deposited. And total money received is already given the question. Then total money so received. So total money received is given that is rupees 8088. Okay. So based on this both you can write the simple interest. And rate, uh, simple rate of interest also is given. We take and rate also is eight uh, percent. From these two statements, we can find out the simple interest first. So simple interest is equals to the total money received minus the deposited money, right? So total money uh, received is eight thousand eighty-eight. So maturity value is this. minus the uh, deposit amount is thirty-six p. Okay, let be equation one. Now you can use the simple interest formula. So simple interest formula you use. Simple interest is in this recurring deposit is P into N into N plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 by 12 into R by 100. This will substitute what are the values are given in this. So from equation 1, in the place of simple interest, you take 8088 minus 36P. This is simple interest value and P asked is into n, n into n plus 1. So n is the 36 months. So 36 into 37 by 2 into 1 by 12 into R value. So rate of interest is 8% is given. So 8 by 100. That's it. Now this if you simplify, you will get the value of the P. Then you can simplify this right side and can cancel which is possible here. 12 ones are 12, 3 is 36 and cancel more 2 ones are 2, 4 is 8 right and 4 ones are 4, 25 is 100. So after cancellation remaining values you write. So P into 3 into 37 there is no numerator more divided by 25. 3 into 37 divided by 25 and this side is 8088 minus and 36 P. Now Okay, so now if you multiply P into 3 into 37 is 111 by 25. Now we'll take the P terms one side. Then that is uh, P into 111. So 11, 111 P by 25 and plus 36 P. Take this side. That is equals to 8088. Now take the P common and simplify. So 
so if we take the p common so 111 by 25 plus 36 by 1 is equals to 8088 from this both you can find the values just you can do LCM in this then finally p is equals to take the LCM and if we cancel that is 8088 into 25 by this both values then that means that I'm writing 2200 to 200 2 lakhs 2200 by and this uh, 1000 1, 1011 I did LCM and I took out this side then you can cancel this 1011 1 sir 1011 2 sir this value into 00, 0. so 200 therefore monthly installment then P is equals to rupees 200 this will say take out the same. This is the hence the value of each monthly installment is rupees 200. So based on this, so we can find out like this. Whenever the values are given, you should find out the simple interest first. Then apply in that formula, you'll get this values. So this is how to find out the monthly installment. And I'll show one problem on how to calculate the time period. So when how to find out the end value. Let us see one sum now.